Alright, today I'm going to be showing you Scratch for a Mac. It's a program that lets you create games and cartoons. And it's available on Windows and Mac and Linux. And it can be downloaded here at scratch.mit.edu. Just scroll down the bottom of the page. Click on download and get it. Alright, so once you get that, you just start up the program, and this is what you'll see. And this is where you make all your cartoons and games at. Um, over here, here's all the building blocks that you click together, like Legos, to make the programs. Here's where you put the the programs or scripts together. And this is the resulting area where you can see your cartoon or game come to life. And so by default, it opens up with uh, just a scratch cat on the canvas there. And uh, so let's get started and try and make our first Scratch program. So you notice that in these motion blocks, they all have a notch on the top side of them. That means that they hook into other things from below. And none of these are, are blocks that don't have the notch on the top, so those we can't start with those. We need to have something that starts the program so as you can see this one has a rounded top and only a notch on the bottom this is a starting point this is an event that will cause things to happen and this one happens when the green flag gets clicked the green flag right there so let's drag that down and this is editing the scripts for the cat you can see that this is the cat right there signifying that's who we're editing right now so right now we want to make the cat do something when the green flags clicked. So let's just have them say something real quick. Hello. So we press the green button here, and there's a cat saying hello for two seconds. <clears throat> Simple enough, but not very interesting. So let's have them do something different. You can click and drag that down, and here we have the, the option to ask a question. So when the green flag's pressed, let's have them ask, "What's your name?" and say, "Hello." All right, what is your name? Aaron. And click OK. All right, now let's try to get them to say, "Hello, Aaron," or whatever the name that's entered is. So here we have operators that will manipulate two pieces of, of data. So here's a join operator that's going to join two different words together. So we put this in here. And that just replaces the, the hello uh, word that we had in there. So now if we ran it. So it was in here. and see join hello and world so let's put in capitals there hello. now if we go back to the blocks where we were asking the questions there's also a block here where we can grab the answer and let's drop that in there to the second part so now as you say hello and then the answer to the to the questions to the blue question here so let's run it now and see what we get. What's your name? And oops. Oh. See so you did it, but there was a kind of put the words together. Let's see here. A quick fix would be probably put a space at the end of hello. Put space. Oh, let's try it again. Hello, Aaron. And then from here, we can just click on share, and you can share it to uh, to the internet so all your friends can see it, and they can download it and uh, remix it. And so here's some of the examples you can do with Scratch.
a random little song there and then drawing a spiral and then I, here's another example of making a, a drum machine with scratch you turn off the drums by clicking off the buttons concludes the first lesson in Scratch.